sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 18 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mafex Medicom Toy Avengers Infinity War Iron Spider Spider-Man. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So we do get the basic looking style box when it comes to Medicom. So we do get the one right there on the front of the box. On the bottom we do get a couple images of the figure there. It says Marvel Avengers Infinity War Iron Spider action figure. Mafex number 81 Medicom toy. Then we do get the Avengers a symbol. And then the bottom of the box here we do get the barcode of Leopard Blood Soup. Nobody cares about And I would definitely keep this in case one of your figures break because it is their email address. And here's the top of the box. And then the one side with another image of the Iron Spider figure there. Then the other side of the box does have another cool image of the figure. Then the back of it does have a few cool poses you can get the figure into along with most of the accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure open to take a closer look at what probably will be the definitive MCU Iron Spider Spider-Man figure. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look, and Mafex did a superb job when it comes to the detail for this Iron Spider and... They really did knock it out of the park with the paint and sculpt. The paint looks beautiful. It is a nice glossy uh, red, gold, and navy blue paint, which it should be something Tomash Nations did not get right. And the paint's very clean throughout the entire figure as well. The head sculpt, I think, looks great. Very clean paint on that. And the uh, webbing is all sculpted on there. You can see where his ear is sculpted under the mask. Very nice wick on that there. And then the spider logo looks great. Very clean paint between the red, the blue, and the gold. So nice job from Mafex uh, for that there. Even up on the uh, pieces that hide the shoulder joints turned out really good too. Clean paint mark and everything like that. And then the back here, get the spider logo again, which looks great. And then the arms turned out dope. Very nice sculpt and paint all throughout it. I like the uh, wrist pieces around the wrists there. Elbow joints blend in pretty good too. And then the crotch piece is a softer rubbery type plastic, so it doesn't really hinder the leg articulation. But I like all these sculpted lines throughout the legs right there. Even on the side of the torso, it looks pretty cool also. Even around the crotch piece, like around the hips. And on the spider butt. And then the uh, back of the legs, we get those uh, sculpted lines as well. Even around the knees. Knee joints blend in really well, and they have those sculpted lines on them also. And then the boots... Turned out pretty good too. Very clean paintwork all throughout it. I have to admit the paint is very clean throughout the entire figure and some red paint came off there which is weird and I had some fresh out of the box uh, missing some paint there as well. But I mean all, overall they did a really nice job with it. I just had that weird issue where the leg at the knee kind of goes outward a little bit just like with the comic version of Spider-Man but besides that ever everything turned out really nice when it comes to the detail and Mafex definitely could not have done any better of a job when it comes to the paint and sculpt they nailed the accuracy and and it just looks great man this is definitely a great mcu iron spider spider-man figure but anyway let's continue on moving on to the accessories spider-man is included with a bunch of really cool iron spider-man type stuff so what we do get we do of course get the mafex stand and it does have the basic Mafex articulation. We have the base, the arm, and the clamp there. So we do get that. And then we do get three interchangeable heads. And starting on the left, we do get the basic Spider-Man masked face there. And that one's probably my favorite out of all three of them. And in the middle, we do get the same type of face, but his eyes are closed a little bit more. So a little more of uh, squinted eyes with the middle masked face and then finally we do get an alternate neck along with the unmasked head right there and the face sculpt isn't too bad looking definitely does not look as good as the promo pics but uh, from what I saw it does look better compared to the homecoming spider-man unmasked head but definitely better than not including one you know what I mean and it, it does have the likeness of the actor there Tom Holland it's not perfect like I said but it's definitely not the worst Either, and I'm going to show you how to swap the heads right now quickly. Alright, so swapping the heads is very simple for this Spider-Man. For the masked head, all you do is take off the head here and it just pops right off there. Then take the other masked one and pop that one on. Come on, you bloody bastard. This one's more of a tight fit and sometimes... Damn you! And sometimes the joint pops off with it, so you might have to use pliers to uh, take the uh, joint out because it's happened to me pretty much every time I put this head on. There we go. So let me show you when I take it off. Oh, it didn't pop off with the joint. Thankfully, it didn't. 
Yeah, but if it does get stuck, just uh, grab some pliers and then pull the joint out the head there. There we go. Just want to show you what the head looks like on the, uh, the, the figure here, which looks pretty cool. And when you want to put the unmasked head on, you have to take the neck off with the figure since his neck is only half covered with the mask there. And that sculpt looks pretty good on uh, the unmasked one, looks pretty good on the figure here. I just feel like it, it looks a little too big, but uh, definitely not too bad looking there. So we do have the interchangeable heads, and then we also get an interchangeable back piece so we can put on the extra spider arms, which I believe are called the Waldos. And this is where we have run into a huge issue here, and a lot of people are experiencing this issue as well. Not everybody, but uh, Foosh even had this issue also, and the same amount broke on him as well. I had three of the ball pegs break on me. Thankfully, Ami Ami is going to replace it. And if you do have extra Revil Tech joints, you can use the larger ones, I believe, for the top joints because they do fit in there. The smaller ones fit in the bottom joints. So you could probably use like Carnage, Carnage uh, Revil Tech joints for the bottom ones and then the top ones maybe the extra shoulder joints for Carnage, but you have to either shave down one side to get it in the arm or widen the hole in the uh, top arms right there in order to get those to work. But like I said, man, it's a shame these broke. Someone did mention that they should use metal ball pegs, which is actually a pretty smart idea for something like this. The paint gets stuck to it and then it just gets stuck. Uh, regardless what really gets stuck is uh, the arm and the top piece of the peg not the peg that pegs into that so that is where the issue is coming in there so definitely not good but it does have good articulation on it which I'll show you guys a little bit later but the paint and sculpt look great on the back and once you have this on the figure it just really excels the figure and makes it look so awesome this is the coolest accessory with this figure I'll show you pictures of what it looks like since Mine are broken and I can't show you, but uh, definitely a great accessory. Just very disappointing that it's it's breaking so easily and on a lot of collectors. So we do get that. And then we do get three different types of webbing. So we do get two different types of whipping webs. And they are just a clear plastic, as you can see right there. And we get the shorter ones, as you can see. And then we do get the longer ones. And they're easy enough to get on the the. The like wrist guard pieces kind of get in the way a little bit, but you can get them on. I'll show you how to do that shortly. And then we do get a web swinging web. And the sculpt on them look pretty nice. The sculpt looks really good on this one compared to the other ones. And then we get the gripping hands that you could have them grip onto this swinging web here. So we get a pair of each of those webs. So we do get that stuff. And then we also get a pair of magnetic hands and a pair of magnetic feet so the feet here same exact feet that are on the figure we just get magnets on the bottom and the magnets are actually pretty uh pretty damn strong i'll also show you what that looks like with peter parker magnetized onto something so we do get the feet there and the feet are very easy to swap out every time i was putting it on the hand kept magnetizing to the feet right there and i was like damn it stop it and then we do get the hands as well which has like a uh an extension of uh for the magnet right there on the palm of the hand and they are the wall crawling hands as you can see they're very nice sculpt and paint on these there same with on the feet and they're really easy to swap out i'll show you how to do that right now quickly and the way you use his other accessories and the way you get the other spider arms or waldos on along with the alternate magnetic feet and hands and webs is very simple so for the waldos here this is magnetized and pegged in as well. I just pull from here and it pops right off. You can see the magnets and then the peg holes. Then you take the Waldos here, line everything up, and this should just peg and magnetize right in. My pegs are, are a bit of a tight fit, so it doesn't just pop right on with the magnet. you got to push it a little bit. But once you have these on, it really excels the figure and makes it look so damn dope. Like, look at this one. When I put this on, it just pretty much magnetizes in there. I don't really have to push in. Uh, too much. I mean, you do regardless to make sure you have the pegs in. Now, for the webs here, the thwipping webs, you need the thwipping hands, of course. And if you have any Mafex Spider-Man figure, you know how to get the webs on. So all you do is that, and then the hand back on. And the wrist guards really don't get in the way. They just hinder a bit 
of uh, the wrist articulation. So that's for that one. Then the swinging webs, you get the gripping hand here and you slide that right in. And there we go. That's how you have him use his webbing there. And then for the feet, they're easy to swap out as well. All you do is pull down, they pop right off, and they are labeled R and L, so you know which one's the right foot and you know which one's the left foot. And it's very easy to swap them out, as you can see. And then there you go. That's how you get the magnetized feet on. And for the hands, you know how to swap out uh, hands on figures. So that is all that stuff that we get with Iron Spider. And then we finally get, not including the magnetized hands, we do get 10 alternate hands. Then starting on the top here, we do get a pair of fists, of course, and then we do get a pair of resting open type hands, which are the hands that do come on the figure out of the packaging. Then we do get a pair of gripping hands, which are meant for him to grip onto the swinging webs. And then we do get a pair of thwipping web hands, and then we do get a pair of wall crawling hands, and we get some beautiful sculpt and paint detail throughout all 10 hands, and they are very simple to swap out as well. But anyway, that's all the accessories included with Peter Parker. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now, for the height of the Iron Spider to the very top of his head, it looks like he's a little bit over five and a half inches tall. And there he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Homecoming Spider-Man, the Mefex Comic Version Spider-Man, the Mefex Comic Version Deadpool, and the Mezco 112 Vigilante Suit Daredevil. And as you can see, he is pretty much the exact same height as the SH Figure Arts Homecoming Spider-Man. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Endgame Captain America, the Mark VII Iron Man, the Infinity War Thor, the Endgame Armored Thanos, and the Infinity War Hulk. And I think this Mafex Iron Spider scales really well with the SH Figure Arts MCU line. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectible Smoke, the SH Figure Arts Sage Mode Naruto, the Mafex Justice League Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, and you get some really nice movement with this Iron Spider. Now for the extra spider arms or legs here, as I mentioned before, these did break on me, and I believe uh, Ami Ami is going to send me a replacement. Uh, pack piece with the extra spider arms, but the articulation you're supposed to get with this We do have a ball hinge right here So it does swivel where it connects into the torso piece and it's supposed to swivel as well Where it connects into the arm and then you do have the hinge right there And then we get one two three more hinges throughout the spider arm So they go out about that much and then they all bend all the way into a square there So hopefully uh, yours don't break on you because it's gonna suck so you do get nice movement with the extra spider arms. Now, we do get two joints at the neck here. The upper neck joint is kind of on like a curved barbell type joint, so you can get some more movement out of it depending which way you have it facing. And you can get Spider-Man to look up pretty much all the way, so that is definitely dope. Uh, doesn't really look down too much with the upper neck, just a little bit, which is good. And then we get beautiful pivot there. Look at that. Excellent pivot at the uh, upper neck there. Whoops, it's getting stuck. On the joint there, as you can see, and then of course it does swivel the lower neck here, goes forward and back a tiny bit. So with both joints, you can get get old Mr. Parker to look down about that much, and then, like I said, he he pretty much looks all the way up. Get a little bit of pivot, well, pretty good pivot actually, and then it swivels as well. So combining both those neck joints, you get fantastic articulation. Then we do get a point of articulation at the torso around the abdomen and then one at the waist. And I believe it's on a barbell type joint because it can shift forward and back a bit. So with that joint you can get Spider-Man to crunch forward that much. And then it goes back about that much. You see a little bit of a gap there so you might want to hide that. Then we get some excellent pivot right there. You always get some great uh, torso pivot with Mafex figures and then we do get the swivel as well and then the waist here does go forward and back a pretty good amount so combining both joints iron spider spider-man crunches forward almost 90 degrees so that is definitely awesome and then both joints going back goes back really well but you do see that gap there whoops i kind of ripped the joint out let's put that back in that's weird i never seen that happen what the hell is going on yep i have to re-glue it, it the piece that holds the joint just came out with it. What the hell? Come on, Mafex with the damn cheap glue. God damn you, Mafex. And then the waist here 
you do get a little bit of pivot there and then it does swivel as well now for the arms here we have a very nice circular motion out of the arms kind of like a butterfly joint and then it does go uh, vertical as well but you do get some nice movement at the shoulder right there and then the arms do go out to the sides a lot more than 90 degrees so that is definitely dope they do go up and down and the joints are pretty tight on this figure so that is definitely a plus they do go up and down then we do have the true bicep swivel double jointed elbows that bend in all the way so that is awesome these pieces are separate pieces around the wrist so they can swivel around the arm then we do have a ball hinge on the wrist does swivel and hinges back and forth sometimes this will uh, restrict some of the wrist articulation those wrist pieces now the legs here the <laughs> That's another uh, weird issue. If I pull down too much on the leg joints or articulate them around, they will pop off. You just got to pop them right back in, though. But they do shift down a decent amount, and Spider-Man can kick forward a lot more than 90 degrees. So that's definitely great for a Spider-Man figure. Then does go back a little more than 45 degrees, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to Jean-Claude Van Damme it. So let's find out so with the leg joints not shifted down he can definitely Jean-Claude Van Damme it which is awesome because he is freaking Spider-Man and the joint that's connected to the ball peg can swivel and then you also get the uh, upper thigh or hip swivel right here then we do have the double jointed knees that do bend back all the way so that is great and then the ankles here they do swivel they hinge up all the way hinge down all the way whoops kind of fell came off the joint there hinges down pretty much all the way and then you get a 90 degree bend ankle pivot i mean the articulation really can't get any better on this figure then we do get a nice toe hinge so overall for a spider-man figure mafex definitely hooked us up with a great amount of articulation and you're definitely going to be able to get this iron spider and some great spidery spider-man like poses i'm about to show you some of them right about now but anyway, that is my review of the Mafex Medicom Toy Iron Spider Spider-Man. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure between a 1 through 10, even though it did have the break with the Waldos, I'm still going to have to give it an even 8. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure, I did have mine imported from Japan from Ami Ami. Not sure if they still have some in stock, but I know my buddy from HLS Geeks does have this in stock, so you can check over at HLSGeeks.com. If you can't find it on there, I do recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below and if you would like to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell and if you liked it feel free to give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it oh well i guess you didn't like it but thanks for watching i will see you later on the bottom when it comes to Medicom so we do get the one right there on the front of the bottom <laughs> Iron Spider action figure may fix number 81 Medicom toy to the very top of his head it looks like he's a little bit over five and a damn it <laughs> moving on to the accessories Iron Spider cha <laughs> We do get a pair of fists, of course, and then we do get a pair of oh, But yeah, if it does get stuck, just get some. Damn you, you stupid spider head.